heading to Springfield for the birthplace of Route 66 Festival. in Springfield. I think there might be a parade first thing.
Jimmy's enjoying all the smells. Aren't you, Jimmy? Jimmy! I guess this is a famous landmark. Always in the middle of everything, Jimmy. <laughs> Walking down the middle of Route 66. Get a nice panning shot of the square here. I gotta get a picture of this car because it's just like the family car that we had for years. Right down to the engine. Straight six. And this one's for sale, 6,500. If only I had 6,500 and room for another car. Pretty interesting architecture around here. Fun to explore. Cool, that tower. Well, we ran out of festival, so now we're just exploring downtown a little. We're going back now. now we're going back now. We're exploring downtown a little. So we're gonna try out this place here. Let's see if we can get seating outside. Oh, a pretty cool place. Try it out. some vittles here at Lambert's home of the throat rolls. See if somebody isn't even waiting on for me. She's so hungry. Wanna stick a pin in? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Uh, do you think we can find a place to put a pin in? <laughs> it's like it's, it's, it's just open and there's a line already. <laughs>
beer today. And I like the Rambler Rebel, which of course at one time is a standard police car. one is unique and you know that has to be fast <laughs> yeah. big engine and a light potty doggies on 66 gee uh, why don't you want to hurt donut <laughs> Did you say we're a little bit full? I think Lambert's did us in. Maybe we get a dozen to go. No. There's where we ate last night. Sliders. So what is a slider? You know, that's a burger. What kind of burger? A mini burger. It's for when you when you've been drinking. Oops, we round the corner and there's more cars. Imagine that. You make a face that looks like the back of that car. <laughs> the dogs have made more friends, of course. <laughs> Yeah, people love our dogs so much so that we can't hardly get down the street for people wanting to stop and pet them. <laughs> Which, of course, our dogs don't mind. But it's a quite a busy street right now. Everybody enjoying the beautiful weather. Uh-oh, we got a gorilla coming after us. <laughs> what do you think, Jimmy? You don't think? Jimmy? 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 Hey! <laughs> What's that, Jimmy? Oh my gosh! <laughs> yes, admire the Model T. Show me T's. Out of Springfield, Missouri. And of course, we have some the dogs that want to pose in front of the T. Hey, dogs, you're just teasing us. <laughs> As I, we, as I say, we can't make it down the road. Let's not forget the motorcycles. There's an Indian. Sorry, I need to read the script before <laughs> I actually read the script. Thank you again for the correction. Motorcycles. This was. Sponsored by Aaron Saxon Associates. It's a brand new Chevy. I think there's more bikes somewhere else. This isn't all of them. There's a crazy amount of motorcycles around today. This is unique. Go ahead. Interesting. So we got the Harleys for my biker aunt, and then I guess this is all I get for my Uncle Tom. <laughs> Triumph. It's some sort of like motorcycle course or something here. I guess those are the triumphs. Finally made a 
in for our goal for the day. The old last place. That's where they're having exhibitions. So we're gonna go on in. Here's the Route 66 Association of Missouri. The shirts everybody's wearing. Easy guides. And a video. We already, we already did the route, but we just did recently last June. It was all the way in Chicago, straight to California. Really? We even stayed in the desert. We have an RV, so we, so, we stayed uh, at the... Can we see for the, the camera your newest tattoo? <laughs> Do what now? Your newest tattoo. Oh, my newest tattoo. For the oh. one that's on your head. Oh, the one on, that's on top of my head. Uh, <laughs> is a Dell's restaurant in Chicken Curry, New Mexico. But I had him to put it in. He put it on wrong. Uh, it, well, I should have had him to do it the opposite direction. People can see it from the back. When I bend over, it's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you want people to be able to see it from yeah. the back. Yeah. And then you have one on the side. One on what? Uh, hotel. Oh. Well, you Deep probably can't already see it. Got a hotel on what? First motel and last motel in Texas. Texas, yeah. <laughs> That's in Glen Rio? Glen Rio, yeah. yeah. Glen Rio, Texas. Um, and it was kind of strange because uh, Glen Rio, there's not much there, but they had a, a, a four lane road going to Glen Rio that had a center wide outfit on it and everything. But I guess back in the day, it was a, it yeah. was a going outfit there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I have a lot of fun traveling when I can. That is. Yeah, we just did a trip in June. Yeah. <laughs> did you have a dog with you? Oh yeah. We had they both our dogs. Oh. Both the dogs. What is the other one? She's right here, Stella. Come on out, Stella. There's another dog there. <laughs> She's hiding. She's hiding. This one likes to. Let it's very social. This one just. Hey. They're the opposite of each other. Can you talk? <laughs> Can you say something, Jimmy? It's like, is it edible? <laughs> let me let me taste it with my tongue. Let's see if it's edible. How are you? You told us you'd be here, so we came. <laughs> you told us we you'd be here, so yeah, we came. So you came. Well, thanks for coming. It's good to see you, man. Sweet puppy. We had your portrait, your poster ready. Yeah, we stretched it and. And you need to bring your dog down to see Lady. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Did y'all just did y'all just get here? We just walked in. See? Okay. And you met Tattoo Man oh, yeah. Jones. Good yeah. Oh yeah. For a while. We've met him before. What? I've been given permission by the wife to explore on my own. <laughs> There's some neat stuff here. I guess some of this is the real deal. Original artifacts, rare and hard to find. Late 1920s Highway 66 map. And I can see it has the uh, National Old Trails Road on it. the NOTR and from there west became 66 and the highway maps with Will Rogers on it all sorts of maps and postcards Hi, lady. Is that Jimmy? They were attacked, right? <laughs> you know, they met each other before. Are they friends? Uh huh, they friends. Sort of. They don't remember each other. And the artwork of Jerry uh, McClenahan. Where is Ron? Yeah, Ron. He's got some Ron. really good stuff. Also, the author of The Easy Guide. We're having a little study, but we're talking to Jerry McClenahan. The author of the Easy Guide. He's always a great artist. I love your artwork. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate that. And you were just telling me the story about how you made the Easy Guide. It doesn't seem like it'd be an easy task. Well, it took a lot of work. I started researching Route 66 in 1981 using old road maps and getting out and driving it myself. So I did decades of that. Did a map series in 1994 for Jim Ross. So I was really primed for it. 
and uh, started doing the Easy Guide in 2003. I took a three-week trip to just see how the state of Route 66 was at that time. 40 90-minute cassette tapes. It took me a month to listen to my own voice and type them out. I was sick of my own voice by that time. Uh, then I sat down for a year and a half. All I did was do the Easy Guide. Maps, illustrations, the text, the directions. But it's been very rewarding in my life. It's more or less become the official source of Route 66 for people that want to travel. Well, I appreciate the fact that uh, many of the stores and people along the road recommend it and tell people to buy it. There's a lot of good word of mouth. I don't have to advertise it because other people do it for me, and that, that makes me feel good. It sure does. Have you, uh, has a new technology crept into the mix? Have you thought about it? Uh, I eventually would like to have some electric stuff. We thought we tried to convert it to an ebook, and as is, it's difficult to convert to ebook because the format changes, pages change, someday. Yeah. But for right now, it works good. You don't have to have batteries. You don't have to worry about connectivity. Yeah. It's cheap and it's inexpensive, you know. Yeah. Or maybe uh, Easy Guide app. <laughs> Perhaps someday. Someday. We're Thank talking you. about an old highway, so it's kind of cool to still have paper in. That's in. right. That's right. Uh, I remember the old days when you had to have the map spread out across yes. the steering wheel. And, yes. You know, people talk about texting and driving. Imagine driving down the road seeing a guy with a map in front of his face and driving. Uh, uh, us of a certain, certain generation have all done that. Uh -huh. Don't do it at home. And I, I, you have some interesting artwork, conceptual artwork of like life on the road like the kids screaming in the back seat the yeah road, see right? that was from my own experience with the little brother and me fighting and me dropping my cat pistol out the window <laughs> dad driving like a maniac trying to hit one of us saying don't make me stop this car you know standing in the front seat between mom and dad and he put his arm out to stop us no car seats no yeah. safety belts you know it was a good old days i remember that i remember the hand having to yes. avoid the hand and doing the tug yes. with your feet and the mother yelling, you're gonna make us have a wreck. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep, exactly. All right, well, this is neat. I love this stuff. I need to see if I'm trying to touch my wife and find it. Cool. Prince. All right. We got something from Bob uh, nice. last June. Well, I bought one of his necklaces for my wife. <laughs> Those are neat. Yeah. So, um, and we'll have to come by and see you sometime. Sure, do that. I'm All open right. to visitors. Okay, well, thank you. You're welcome. Nice. And to wrap this video up, the reason why this is the birthplace of Route 66 is because this plaque here, basically on November 11th, 1926, they confirmed that the new road was going to be called Route 66 from Chicago to L.A. And I guess it happened here at the Woodruff Building, November 11th, 1926, birthplace of Route 66. So that's all for now. This video is running really long, so see ya. Coach Light RV Park, Carthage, Missouri. Really nice and quiet. Really nice and quiet. Thirty-two dollars a night. It doesn't have a amenities like. A, shower or bathhouse or swimming pool or anything. Owned by the RV dealership here. So it's not like it's a back parking lot or anything. It's a real planned out RV park. Lots of grounds to walk your dogs around in. We talked to the camp host who took our money and he said that the owner designed it intentionally. So he traveled all over the country and and this is what he wanted out of an RV park. Thank you. Please come again. Probably come back here. Yeah, maybe. Here's the dealership. Part of it. Do a little bit of 
a walking tour, self-guided, of the Boots Court. We stayed here in 2012 on Halloween, the day before we uh, met Gary Turner, east of here. Get a shot with our Navion in the in the picture. It's a cat. Don't let the doggy see you. Hey dogs. Don't look at the cat. Jimmy. Jimmy, there's a cat, Jim. Oh, don't tell him. Why? I have the big old freak out. <laughs> What's wrong, Stella? You're always whimpering. <laughs> ah, picture, picture. Oh, Stella. One of these is the rooms that Clark Gable stayed in. I think maybe this one. Super deluxe. It's a Ford. Here's the back courts. Built later. Yeah, when we stayed here, the owner of the place and the um, assistant were very good tour guides every time we've come. It's closed today because it's Sunday, the front office is. You know, they gotta have a break. And they uh, recently had their neon done the past couple of years and then um, a, a big hailstorm came and demolished it so they need to repair it. Doesn't look like it's completely gone. Maybe they've already repaired it. See, so I'm wondering where the sign is. It's behind the Navion. With the back end of the Navion? Yeah. Nope. Chillaxing at the boots court. store that we went to before is not here anymore. I don't know if that was over on that side. Either that or it's changed. The front has changed. Mother Road Coffee is not open. Alright, can we go right? I don't see anything that says we can't. We've made another stop. We're here at Red Oak 2. Uh, so Yen says a little kitten has decided to follow us. Hmm? Hey kitty. Hey kitty, have you lost your way? Hmm? Meow. You think this black dog is your mama? Well, 
kitty. Don't get run over. Love the auto bus. Earning my way out of the child care center. safe and sound now after a fun trip and putting it together here and uh, until the next adventure <laughs>